So number two is the uh, pre or post operative assessment of a primary function. So the current uh, clinical setting, uh, if the patient is going to the uh, lung cancer uh, resection, mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, the physician, uh, surgeon uh, estimate the post operative uh, pulmonary uh, function, uh, which is the FEV1. So low post-operative FEV1 FEV uh, is linked to the uh, worse uh, progresses. So lower uh, post-operative post FEV1 uh, is equal to uh, uh, worse outcome. So in the current clinical setting, the surgeon estimate the post-operative FEV1 based on the uh, pre-operative pre FEV1 with the number of uh, segments of to be uh, resected. So usually the uh, whole rank uh, segment number is the 90, and if they remove the uh, three segment, then the uh, post predicted post-operative FEV, FEV1 is calculated as uh, like this. So if this number is uh, less than a certain amount of the value, then surgeon decided uh, this patient should be uh, underwent to the uh, undergo underwent to the. Uh, surgical procedure or not. So this is a very important uh, parameter for the uh, lung cancer resection. Uh, this side shows the result from the DC, uh, DDR. The horizontal axis is actual post-operative FEV1. The vertical axis is the uh, predicted uh, FEV1 with the DDR. So and uh, this one is for the from the cinchura. Okay, so this is uh, for the prediction of the post operative VB1 and the target disease, the lung cancer, and the other thoracic disease. The target department is mainly the thoracic surgery department. Yeah, and uh, we can get the uh, almost uh, same information as we get with a cinch gram. So less invasive, lower cost, and a uh, uh, short time ex examination. This image is the preoperative uh, image, and uh, this one is the uh, one week after surgery, and this one is the one month after <laughs> surgery. So I don't need to say so much, you can see the differences. Another case of the following up, <coughs> one week after surgery and two months after surgery. <coughs>